There's a misconception about dieting, and a lot of people will just try to starve themselves to get a caloric deficit, but it's never sustainable long term. You can't just eat like a little bit of toast and a banana for the whole day. You can do that for a couple months, but long term, it's it's not a healthy way to live, and it's not it's not a sustainable way to uh, adapt healthy eating habits over the long term, over the term of your life. So I know you have a um, a methodology, I guess, or mm. a practice of yeah, you know how people can eat healthy because me personally, I've definitely struggled with that where if I get too hungry, I just say, fuck it. And I just eat whatever, um, that I want to eat because I'm just frustrated with the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but you've kind of helped me understand that when you're hungry, you should eat and you shouldn't just try to, you know, starve yourself for the caloric deficit because it's just not going to end up end well. Right. Well, yeah, I think that we need to change the way. And this is weird after saying how much I appreciate big women, but <laughs> but from a health standpoint, I think we need to change the way that we understand um that we understand food. I, I think the problem is just just the label of of health food in general is strange. Food is paramount to your health. Without it, you die. So for it to be unhealthy is, that's, that's backwards. That's abnormal. So health food being like an obscure thing is backwards. Your food's supposed to be healthy. It doesn't mean it has to be bereft of taste. Uh, you know, imagine like spinach, you know, with garlic and oil, and then like grilled chicken, like like properly seasoned, you know, when you have some brown rice, maybe add mushrooms to the mix. How about some avocado? You're fine. This shit ain't going to make you fat. The problem is, is that you're not really eating that. You're probably like, oh, what should I get right now? And your mind goes, well, there's pizza. There's McDonald's, there's Burger King, there's Taco Bell. Uh, maybe I'll get a gyro or like whatever it is your mind goes to. Or maybe I'll get Chinese food or with the, the, the burger with French fries. When you're eating these things, you're eating, it, it, it's a combination of a whole bunch of things working together in conjunction to fuck you up. It's not just one or two things. It's not like you just ate the first meal that I mentioned and then rewarded yourself with like one scoop of ice cream, right? It's like you had the burger, okay? So that's white bread. Meat that doesn't go bad for like a fucking year if you got it from McDonald's. And the oil, oh man. Now you're adding cheese to it, okay? But let's say you just did that and you had nothing else, probably get away with it, but it's hard to do that and have nothing else because this these kind of foods are very addictive and they have a way of making you want more. So now you have that. Now you're having the fries. Understand that, first of all, when you boil oil at a certain uh, temperature, its molecular structure changes. It now becomes cancerous, Okay. And in certain oils, their molecular structure can stay intact um, at, at, at higher degrees than others. Imagine this oil boiling. It's boiling. It's not just like popping in the pan. It's fucking boiling again and again and again, over and over again for eight fucking hours. And then you're, you're, you're soaking the fries in them to absorb it. So you have the meat that God knows what the fucking combination of it is made up of, okay? The bread to go with it. The cheese. The cancer fries. Then you wash it down with a soda. Well, don't forget, they cover those fries in salt. Well, you got the salt. So the salt's the least of your fucking problems at this point, okay? So, you know, so you, so you have all of this, right? 
it, it, with, with the soda. Now, let's say if it just stopped there. It don't stop there. The problem is, is that people who eat like this, just one meal, this tends to be their normal thing. They're going to get up and their breakfast may be cake. You know, it, it may be fucking a cereal that is just filled with sugar. Then they add the milk, which is filled with sugar. What's lunch going to be? I'm on the go. I don't know. Taco Bell. So the point is, is that it's not really easy to get fat. This is what people, you don't just get fat because you ate McDonald's here and there. As bad as that is, you can do that. You're not going to end up obese. Obese takes work. Consistency. Big time. <laughs> okay? You have to have that. You need candy bars. You need ice cream. Most people that are eating like this after the meal, they're getting dessert. So it's, it's this is, an, you know, and this may be after the night of drinking. So we just consume the fuck ton of sugar, which we do all the time. Oh, I got to drink. Uh, oh, please, I need a drink after today's day or whatever bullshit you tell yourself. Right? So, so a whole bunch of sugar. Then we, we get the shifu and you repeat this day and day and day and day and day. And then you think, oh, it's hard for me. Working out is hard. No, no, working out's not hard. It's that it's like anything else. It's like if you have a house and you just let it get dirty and dirty and dirty for fucking years, 20 to 30 years of filth. Now it's time to clean up. You got a big job ahead of you. Yeah. Or if like you're hoarding and now you can't do it because it's yeah. too much stuff. Well, so, so, I mean, that's what it is for a lot of people. It's like, yeah, it's going to be hard for you because you just, you let it get to this point. But what are you going to do? Not unlike a house, you can't just opt for a new body. The house, you can go, oh, fuck it, sell it is as it is. You know what I'm saying? The body, you can't sell the body and get another body. So you got to clean it up, you know? But let's say you're not one of those people where you're you're just at the absolute worst, which is probably most people. Um you know, but let's say you're not that. And, you know, I don't know. You just don't understand anything about nutrition. You, you, you have rice and beans and maybe you have it with steak and fried chicken. And you just don't really have any nutritional understanding. You don't understand carbs. You don't understand, you know, it, it's understand. I, I get it. It's not, you don't obtain that knowledge right away. It takes time. These people, they might just need to have a certain understanding of something and modify their, their stuff. But ultimately what I believe in is I don't believe in depriving. I believe in replacement. So the same way I mentioned the first meal, fucking the spinach with the chicken, the avocado, the mushrooms, you know, there's ways to make meals, healthy meals taste amazing. And then as you, as that becomes your norm in your everyday, you will build the tolerance. Me, for example, I did not drink. I was probably for over a year or something like that. You know, then I went to AC. I also, I didn't gamble. I had stopped gambling for a very long time. And then I went to AC and it was like, uh, this weekend, I'm going to drink. This weekend, I will gamble, but I will gamble with self-control. I won money. I drank the whole weekend. Done. I'm not going to drink again until it's another occasion. But that discipline is achieved from very long periods of, of not engaging in that. Not, not necessarily because I was deprived, but having the understanding that it's not normal to drink alcohol every day. It's not, and I say normal in regards to, because that is normal compared, like, because that's what most people are doing, but normal in an anatomy sense, you're not supposed to consume alcohol every day and you're not supposed to consume bad food every day. 
So once you change the way that you function, self-control becomes easier.